Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on GTA 5 today playing a amazing rendition of Crash Alley. A big thank you to uh, Timmy76 who sent me this map. I have actually tried myself. I spent a good hour and a half trying to build Crash Alley on here. Never got anywhere with it and gave up basically. Uh, well, this is a truly fantastic rendition and we are going to go racing. We have got to Moonbeam Customs because why not race a <laughs> silly silly van around Crash Alley. Now I do start on pole. I think that's partly I think the post always starts on pole. Oh, I've gone round. Um, yeah, having a lead early on is not necessarily mean anything at this circuit. Anybody who knows uh, Crash Alley, things are going to get chaotic. Uh, it's a good idea from some of the vehicles. Now, having your car raised up will slow it down through the corners, but it will actually survive these bumps better because I don't want to actually spin my vehicle again. We've already had one off. I don't want to have another one. Uh, it will probably take this opening lap uh, before things really start getting too chaotic. Look at the pink van go. He got some serious boost down there. I'm going to try and get my vehicle back down. Floor. Thank you. Oh, no, no, just going to bounce. Floor. There we go. Uh, we need to make up some time. I say we need to make up some time, but no, what we need to do is stay out of trouble. We need to stay out of trouble as much as possible, because already we can see that uh, the leaders there have uh, lost all of that brilliant lead, and we're going we to spin every time we go down here. I think we are... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, doesn't look like I am the only one having issues. Now, I've so far stayed out of the chaos. Surprisingly, I've stayed out of the, uh, the, the serious chaos. Because serious chaos will always ensue at Crash Alley. That's more like it. Uh, although we do have to... <laughs> running along the wall there. Do have to be a little bit careful that we don't get out before we end up smacking into the uh, end thing. Now, this is set to three laps, but to get the, the checkpoints to accept this as a race, it's kind of three circuits around counters three laps. So we're already doing nine laps of racing. Now we're starting to get a big old cluster in the middle of the... Uh, this circuit. We're still sat out in third. I'm, I'm, I was expecting a little bit more chaos. The test race we did before this was more chaotic than, uh, than this one has turned out. I think because we've managed to stay a little bit closer uh, and not quite such big gaps. Oh, huge front flip from the pink moonbeam. We have managed to avoid it. That'll be a second place for, for me. That was uh, that was a brilliant, brilliant flip. I'm really glad. It's so difficult to try and uh, get out of the way of something like that. It's so difficult to try and have the uh, the time to react. Oh, we were going to get the lead, and now we're not going to get the lead. No, yellow van almost got us. Almost, almost got us. I don't know. <laughs> On earth we have survived. The only damage I have on my car at the moment is one smashed window and a couple of little scratches. I've been pointing the wrong way far too many times, but uh, yeah, that's that's it. I think we're actually coming to, up to lap some cars that have been less lucky. There's an orange brigade going on here. Nope, we're going to go around again, aren't we? Oh, orange brigade. No, orange brigade. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm not having any luck with the with the spinning of this vehicle. It is not, uh, yeah, not helpful. Now we've got lapped cars. We've got oncoming cars. It's just general, generally not fun down here. I might put Team Orange in the wall. I've <laughs> rolled two. I've rolled. Oh, I've almost rolled two Team Orange cars. Oh no! Like that. All the black. Oh, what the? <laughs> Let's see. I don't know what went on there. Can somebody please explain? I need it in writing. Like what happened there. My man just got rejected for climbing over the uh, kind of, well, bump, whatever. I don't know what prop has been used to make the bumps. It's clever, whatever it is. Um, it, it works very much like Crash Alley. Um, but it's enough to give these vans a lot of trouble. No! No! We're going to do a front flip. That might cost us second. We're trying to wiggle our way over. Come on, wiggle van. There we go. And we're back on our wheels. Oh, thank you for the boost. I think that might have been third that gave me a helpful get-go. There's the leader. Still managing to stay out of trouble. I'm bullying Team Orange again. Oh, <laughs> Don't, I have no idea if we're battling them for the position or not, quite frankly. Are we battling them? No, okay, so they're a lap down car. <laughs> Don't really need to worry about them. If, 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 they, if we let them go, that's perfectly okay. Right, now try and be carefully does it. Not be carefully does it. Oh, we're going to go around for another spin. And oh no, Team Orange. Ah, we've found all the same vehicles and we've lost a second again. I was trying to be careful that time around. It just wasn't having any of it. It's just yeah, nigh on impossible. Nigh on impossible to get this across the... <laughs> These bumps cleanly, for me at least. I don't know how the other drivers have done it. Well done to those that haven't spun the cars like a moron. I 
think that blue van might be for a podium. And said blue van has gone for a huge roll. We've got underneath Team Orange. We're going to bounce and bounce and bounce and make our way for third. I think a third place. Oh, it's such a brilliant, brilliant recreation of Crash Alley. It's everything that you want from a... That was a really, really close finish with the vehicles further down. Uh, let's have a look at leaderboard. That was... Yeah, look at that. 51... Uh, sorry, 551, 6, 6, 8, 52, 2... That's mega close finish from fifth back. They would have a big old race long battle. Um, yeah, I got a little bit lucky on that final sprint to the finish line to make my way back up into third. Got very unlucky with uh, all of the previous. I say unlucky with the previous spinnings. Obviously, I was doing something wrong because other guys weren't having the same the same issues. But uh, there we go. Moomins, customs, and crash alley make for interestingness. Definitely. So, how do you make Crash Alley busier? Well, by filling it full of Sand Kings. Yet one of the biggest vehicles in GTA 5 that at least still has some half-decent performance about it, uh, are going to fill the narrow roads of uh, <laughs> Crash Alley and we're going to, yeah, try and survive if we can make a good breakaway for it, that would be quite nice. We shouldn't have issues with these bumps. Although I think... Uh, no, we're not going to have any issues at all with these bumps. <laughs> oh, that one is a little bit of a big one. Oh, we almost had... I say that. We almost had a roll <laughs> slide from the red truck behind us. Um, oh, crap. There's, there's someone upside down. It's taken us less than a lap. He's bounced his way past, but we are all okay. Uh, are we going to get... Uh, no, he's thinking about having it up the inside changed his mind. My turn to get a big slide. I'm going to have to give him space because he is going to shove his nose up the inside uh, around there. Although we will be on the inside coming on to the... Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm not quite sure how we both survived that. We're going to go either side of the oncoming traffic. He's going to bounce his way through and we'll take a... Whoa! A bit of an early lead. Both of us struggling with massive oversteer all of a sudden. I was not expecting oversteer from the Sand Kings, particularly there's an orange truck around there. Uh, looks like we might be going up to lap some vehicles relatively soon. Oh! Actually, thank you. Thank you for the uh, truck... <laughs> behind for the nudge. That actually straightened me up and sorted it out. I was carrying too much. Trying to be brave. Too much speed. Ended up in a complete disaster. Oh, that's a big angry pack of cars. I mean, I'm not going to put the pink truck into the oncoming traffic. However, if the oncoming traffic happens to move... Oh, we've bullied Team Orange. We always managed to bully the Team Orange cars. We've made up places and then lost places and the Grey truck, I think, is now second. Uh, it's a blue vehicle we are looking for. That is the, uh, <laughs> it's the leader somewhere. Oh... Oh, okay, we're fine. I thought that was going to hit the orange truck and just push them straight back. One of the difficulties we have is, well, slipstream. There we go. Well, we got, <laughs> we rescued Team Orange that time, so it was helpful. I don't know if I might have been slightly lag bumping him along there because it looks a little bit peculiar. Uh, yeah, slip, slipstream makes the races exciting. does give you a little bit of a chance to catch up, although if you catch that sort of sudden propel forwards at the wrong moments, you can actually end up in an awful lot of trouble. So you've got to be wary of that one. We're going to go the inside of the other Team Orange truck. Uh, I think we're racing against fairly similar similar front order that we had last time around. It does not help that the grid doesn't really seem to be randomizing at the moment. Oh, is that orange truck gonna have a uh, no, he's gonna Oh, but maybe. A little bit of a little bit of blinking going on there. Thankfully we are clear. Uh, fourth place has fallen back behind. That's nice. Probably I, well, I say probably. Fairly sure would have been involved in a crash down one of these straights. Let's face it, that's a boy. <laughs> What is it with the sudden oversteer in these things? I know that, you know, well, being a pickup truck, they don't have a huge amount of weight over the rear wheels, but uh, I swear I've driven these before and never had the uh, the sudden, sudden oversteer going around corners. But there we go. Uh, all right, so that's, a, that's not a bad offer position between those two. I'm fairly sure the turquoise truck is a lap down. Uh, oh, that's the not quite giving each other enough space there. Uh, we got away. We got away okay from all of that. I am completely on the wrong side of the road, however. We might still manage to squeeze our way up to make a position. There's almost a bit of tandem drifting going on between us two as we fight for that place. We have got... Oh, bugger. That's a lot of trucks. We've got a fair old gap to the leader. 
who has finished. Oh, I, was, I didn't realise that was a final lap. I just got enthralled in the action. Uh, I don't know why I said that. A uh, little bit shorter by accident. Didn't intend on if that is the uh, case. Yeah, I think I might have set that to two laps unintentionally at some point while flicking through settings. That's why I thought we had more laps than we, than we actually did. Bugger. Uh, second place. Second place. Not too bad going. Not too bad going from... Uh, from, from, from me here, um, the fastest laps in the uh, the 102s, it's all about managing to stay out of trouble in that. It's all about keep your vehicle out of trouble and you stand a very, very good chance of, uh, of doing well. Do we have another really mega close finish going on? Not particularly, not particularly down the order. It's just the, the way I, I think the way I've been looking in the menus meant the messages all appeared at once. Well, a second and a third so far in these races means that if we can... Uh, can, or a third and a second, I should say. If we continue this trend for our final round, I'd be perfectly happy. And for our final race, we have got some pantos for reasons of extra super dupery silly. Yeah, these are not likely to fare so well on the big bumps. The Zankings, they're relatively okay across there. The pantos are going to be throwing about continuously and... Yeah, <laughs> there's going to be a big ball of broken cars. I love how every race so far, I think there have been people who have always had crashes before they've even got into turn one. They're starting further back on the uh, on the grid. It's this big kicker there that causes problems for cars like me, for example. Uh, although apparently more problems. <laughs> apparently more problems for uh, for further back down there. There's just a. Just a pool of spun pantos on that section. I'm kind of being, a, I say a little bit cheaty. I'm, I'm trying to make the most of advantages that I can get, which seem to be running down the well bits with less, bits with less of a jump. Quite frankly, uh, I got away horrendously with that. Uh, I should not have survived. Or oh, there's some, there's some tumbling cars flicking their way towards us. The leader's round. I'm going to hit Team Orange. No, he was actually very, very kind to me. He didn't get going as quickly as he could. Uh, to be fair, it does help him as well if he doesn't get involved in another crash. So uh, I appreciate I appreciate that one immensely. Are oh, we going to be able to find a way past the bright pink panto? Or will one of us hit traffic? Will both of us hit traffic? There's an orange car going backwards across the road. Oh, yep, pink panto hit traffic. That'll put us up to the lead. Woohoo! <laughs> We got for um, four laps, so effectively twelve laps um, around here uh, for for this race to make up for the lack of the sanking. Plus, these are a little bit quicker as well for taking on this circuit. I'm trying to now be a little bit clever. I say be a little bit clever. I'm trying, just about working as oh, hey, there goes second tumbling on his side towards me by being a smidge careful on the straights. I can find like a little balance where I am clearing two of these humps at a time and not risking rolling or spinning my car. See? Look at that. So so elegantly done across the... <laughs> what is going on? I am driving sensibly and well at Crash Alley. Now the, the plus side of, of Pantos being such tidy cars, as I say that, we're going to have a silly, silly spin there. Oh! <laughs> How did everyone miss that? Uh, everyone is doing a really good job of managing to miss vehicles. There's an orange vehicle flying on its nose. I see the pink car, though. I see the pink vehicle. We can get a little bit of slipstream. I don't even know if I want the slipstream, though. I don't know if I want the speed. Yeah. Oh, bugger. We're going to... No, oh, face first into them. Oh, orange car, pink car. No, I want to go that way. <laughs> there was... Oh, we... <laughs> We've sent someone to space. Oh, Team Orange, I for some reason thought he was going the other way and that he was gonna be turning round. I apologize on that one. That was a bit of a that was a bit of a poor decision by me. Uh maybe it's only I thought it was three laps, right? Maybe it's only two up and downs that uh, that we're doing. I've not really been keeping count. It's very difficult to do anything other than try and focus on the mayhem that is occurring in front of your screen. That was a slipstream. Assist if ever I saw one. We're gonna go for a J turn. Bumblebees come flying past and boinged and boinged and round. <laughs> Got to get back going again quite nicely. Well done on uh, that one. We're losing touch though, annoyingly. Oh, wheeling Panto. There's a little bit of lag involved in that one as well. I don't want to be near laggy Team Orange or backwards Team Blue. That's fine. We're, we're, we're away from that. Oh, Pink has got mullered. That means Bumblebee takes the lead. We do a little dance to celebrate. Uh, we're going to stop the record. I think we've got more than enough footage from the, 
from these for an entertaining... In fact, you'll have seen the thumbnail. It'll be an entertaining thumbnail. There is there is so much possibilities for the Pantos. No, bad, 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 bad. Oh, that was a... <laughs> that was, no, no. Oh, I thought we were going to be clear of that because that was the, the leader. We, all of us had issues at exactly the same point. And a spinning around trying to avoid the chaos. And I thought I was going to be clear of that blue car, but we were not. Well... That's a bit of a bugger, but never mind. Oh, red card just got annihilated. Oh, we got a little bit of a slipstream assistant help down there. But we are going again. Yellow's died. <laughs> Yellow's got launched. Uh, and didn't quite actually get launched as I thought he was going to. He got stopped in his tracks. Well, we've got a couple more times around here to try. And oh, here's another, another Sky High Panto. Keep out of trouble. Keep out of trouble. I see the pink car. I see the pink car going around the end loop. If we don't spin and he has a spin, has an accident, we're in with a chance. But that relies on us not having a crash here. Uh, there is... Oh, God, there is kerfuffles. We've almost rolled it. I'm not even sure if my two-wheeled antics didn't help me avoid that car slightly. But we are not going to be able to turn because we were stuck on the bounces. Oh, I can see pink off gallivanting into the distance on his final lap. Uh, this something else has spun its way off of the midsection. It's as, as chaotic. I think it's a little bit wider here than it ever was in Crash Alley, and especially driving little cars like this, uh, it is perhaps a little bit, a little teensy bit more forgiving than. Look at that! That was a brilliant flip, good sir. Well done. You might get flip of the day. Uh, I don't know whether that one there deserves flip of the day. It was it was the, the landing that was so excellently excellently held. Where we had some real. It wasn't as you know as higher a flip. But, uh, oh, there's pink as well. If we hadn't got caught on the tyre bundle, we could have potentially had a, a victory there. But that was not to be. God damn it. Third and two seconds for me as Pantos bobble and bounce their way towards the, uh, the finish line. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's just, I don't, know, I don't quite know. <laughs> I think someone's given up and just going for the uh, how many spins can we do down the midsection there. That was mighty impressive. Well done. Um, have we got any close any close finishes? It doesn't particularly look like it. That's sometimes the way that it can go. In, uh, in Crash Alley, it is a uh, yeah, notoriously... A notoriously fickle racetrack. That's half the fun of it. It's half the fun of it. You never really get the same. I say you never really get the same thing twice, and I, you know, got two slightly lonely second places. But that was more to do with the fact that me hosting it today has decided I'm going to be on the pole every single time. Being on pole here does help massively, of course. You, you stay out of the early carnage. Is there going to be a couple more bumps? And not quite across the line there, was it? <laughs> I don't know if he lost a place because of that one or not. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if it actually finished or not either in that one. Straight into the uh, into the sides. At least I didn't manage to do that one. At least I didn't manage to do that one. Oh, have we leveled up? Fantastic. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for for Crash Alley. It is as brilliantly silly as you would expect. I shall, of course, have a link in the description so you can download this track. Have a go at yourself. I highly, highly recommend that you do. The more people you have, of course, the better it is. Uh, hey, we got fastest lap. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, the more people you have, the crazier it gets. If you can get a, a full a full lobby uh, on, on it, it would be horrendously carnage. But uh, yeah, in general, Crash Alley, you can't really go wrong, wrong with. That's a bit from me, though. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.